My name is Rob Esterly. Um, I graduated from Raytown South High School in 1979. I currently live in Laguna Beach, California, and I'm a professional interior designer specializing in holistic wellness design. I'm Pat Pummel Betteridge. My students knew me as Pummel, and when I paint, I, I sign both names to confuse everybody. And I taught for 25 years here at Raytown South. I taught art and photography and some years humanities. I thought Rob was a very special person and uh, he obviously was very creative. Growing up uh, during the 60s as a child, um, my father had served in World War II. And um, back then, uh, PTSD wasn't discussed. Um, I believe he suffered from that. And as a result, there was um, a lot of pressure and a lot of stress in our home. I didn't realize that at all at the time. It certainly was not obvious. He always had a smile on his face and he had a wonderful attitude. For many years, I retreated inside and I wasn't really comfortable uh, with myself, um, didn't really have um, positive role models. So by the time I got to uh, high school, I think that I was searching for anyone that I could really express myself uh, you know, safely with. I, I, I thought that he had so, much, so many possibilities and a lot of talent, and I really wanted to help him develop that. Her uh, attention, her love, her care, her concern uh, was something that I really felt, and so it nurtured me, and it was natural for me to, I think, pull from within the natural gifts I had and to express them through art and painting. Well, something that I always thought was the most important was to encourage the student. I remember her teaching me about the importance of light in a, in a painting and the subject matter. And I recall this one uh, figure drawing of a young lady and it was, she was standing next to a window and it was a stream of light coming across her. So I remembered the time that she helped me to understand how to really portray that. Um, in watercolor, it's very difficult. You have to do very uh, pale layers of color to, to get the effects. I thought his work stood out and I really wanted it to get some recognition. And as I recall, I entered it in a competition, and um, and he tells me that he wasn't aware of this, and so it was a surprise to him that he received the scholarship from this. But I'm so glad it turned out that way because it opened a lot of avenues for him. I got to walk up in front of the entire audience at Bartle Hall and receive the scholarship. So I was kind of like in shock, you know. I don't know that it registered right away, but of course then I'm thinking, this is extraordinary because I don't remember, you know, applying for it. I don't remember um, talking to Pat about it. So I have to say that she really truly did this and it was a gift that I'll always be grateful for. I think it gave him a lot of confidence in himself and uh, opened up some channels of possibilities for him. I, I don't think there's any way to even begin qualifying the path that unfolded had it not been for her. I went on to be accepted at the Kansas City Art Institute following the scholarship I received at Central Missouri State. And then from there, I went to California where I went to the Art Center College of Design and then to New York City where I studied at three top schools there. So I had quite an unusual education, but I do believe it was all part of the beginning of what Pat did for me. And I was inspired to learn, you know, to really seek good teaching and to seek good schools, and I got accepted at some of the best. You know, through the years, um, I really had a lot of wonderful students, but there are always a few that stand out like little stars in the firmament, and Rob is certainly one of those. For her to have made that kind of impression on me and to have had that impact on my entire adult life mattered. I'm totally surprised that, I, isn't it hard to believe somebody would take the time to do that and come back and see their teacher and keep in touch? It, it's really wonderful and I, I love hearing what he's doing. 
Well, I think we need to honor the heroes in our life, and I do believe that she is one. 